Hi, this is Matt. Today I'm reviewing Climate Change, What Everyone Needs to Know, written by Joseph Rom. This book basically aims to provide an education about the fundamentals of climate change, so what it is and how it works, uh, what the expected impacts are, and what we can do about it. Of the books that I have read so far on climate change, this is the one that I would most recommend you start with if you're interested to learn more about the subject. The book is written in a question and answer format which makes it very easy to read and each of the answers in the book uh, contains references to the scientific studies that are relevant and some statistics. So all the explanations in the book are backed by the fundamental science and research. So I thought I would just uh, walk through the different sections in the book to uh, give you a better idea of what it contains. Um, so the first chapter deals with the basics of climate science. So this uh, involves addressing questions such as um, how, how is climate change caused? You know, how do greenhouse gases cause climate change? Um, what the difference is between the terms climate change and global warming. Um, why it is that scientists are so certain that climate change is a human-caused phenomenon and not a natural one. And it also deals with some of the arguments that you might hear coming from uh, so-called skeptics or deniers of climate change. Um, one example would be something which I think is called the solar radiation hypothesis, which is basically this notion that uh, the Earth is warming due to increased solar activity and not because of greenhouse gases. Um, but the book addresses this and shows very succinctly why this is not the case and why we know for a fact that the Earth is warming due to human-caused greenhouse gas emissions. So that's the first chapter. The second chapter, which is the one that I found the most worrying and, and the most confronting uh, deals with the relationship between extreme weather events and climate change. The reason why the contents of this chapter are worrying is because it really shows that climate change is impacting us right now and the impacts are escalating in severity rapidly. The reason for this is since uh, the Industrial Revolution, due to greenhouse gas emissions, the Earth has warmed by approximately one degree Celsius on average. To most people, I don't think this would intuitively sound like something to be super concerned about. For instance, if you had uh, some activities planned for tomorrow and you checked the forecast and you saw that it's going to be one degree more than expected, you probably wouldn't cancel your plans. It wouldn't be that much of a di big deal. But due to the way that the underlying physics of climate works, a small increase in global average temperature results in a substantial increase in the frequency and severity of extreme weather events that are threatening to human life and human property and to ecosystems. So things such as hurricanes, floods, um, wildfires, and droughts. The book goes into more detail uh, to explain the exact mechanisms behind this, but yeah, basically this chapter really hammers home why it is that we need to act strongly on climate change, because it's impacting us right now. So that's chapter two. Chapter three uh, deals with some of the other impacts of climate change. Uh, such as sea level rise, as well as some other impacts that you may not have may not be so familiar with, uh, such as ocean acidification, and also interestingly the um, possible cognitive effects of having an increased uh, CO2 at, uh, increased atmospheric CO2 concentration. Um, the so that's the first three chapters, and then the second half of the book. Uh, really deals with what the IPCC, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, would describe as adaptation and mitigation strategies. So basically, what can we do about climate change? So chapter four um, talks about 
how we can avoid the worst impacts. It covers the Paris Agreement to limit warming to below 2 degrees Celsius on average globally, um, whether this is an adequate target and whether we're even going to meet it. Um, chapter 5 talks about the politics around climate change and the policies that governments can implement to take action to prevent it. Chapter 6 talks about the role of clean energy. And Chapter 7 talks about how climate change may impact you personally and your family. And it also talks about what you can personally do to help mitigate it. So that's just a brief run through of the book. And just to mention the author, Joseph Rom. Uh, Joseph Rom is a very influential communicator on climate change issues. He's a well-regarded scientist and he's received a number of accolades for his work. So you know, as far as I can tell, he's a very trustworthy authority on issues around climate change. So to summarize, um, this book is a really fantastic resource to help you to build a foundation of knowledge about climate change and to help you to have rational, intelligent, fact-based discussions on climate change. The other thing I'd say is that this book is also excellent as a reference resource uh, due to the fact that it's written in a question and answer format. So, for example, say that you have a conversation with someone who is skeptical about taking action on climate change or even denies it outright. Chances are that some of the things, uh, some of the arguments that they make uh, would be addressed in this book. So uh, it's very easy to have a look at the contents page and uh, find a particular question or a particular argument, flick through to the relevant page and familiarize yourself with what the science has to say. So that's Climate Change, What Everyone Needs to Know, written by Joseph Rom. And thanks for tuning in.